Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 26, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Don't be left behind. The six days after Christmas sale is in effect. Starting today use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off the already discounted sale price. Time is running out. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being today. Also, be sure to follow me on both Facebook and Twitter as I am posting important information you need to know on those platforms throughout the day. The links are in the description box below. I encourage you, stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest for today. The Iraqi president refuses to assign his al Adani and offers his resignation to the deputies. Iraqi President Baram Saleh announced that he refused to assign a building bloc candidate to head the government, as Ad al Adani, while he decided to resign before the parliament. Next article of interest. Al Abidah's coalition calls on Saleh to withdraw his resignation and continue his constitutional responsibilities. The Victory Coalition led by Haider al Abadi, President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, called for the withdrawal of his resignation, which was announced today, Thursday. In a statement, the alliance affirmed that it had rejected the resignation of the President of the Republic calling on it to withdraw it and continue its constitutional and national responsibilities. He added, National interests and popular legitimacy require political forces to support solutions that meet the aspirations of the people, and leave the mentality of treachery, bullying and domination. The Victory Coalition stressed the need to make a fundamental change to the current equation of government in a manner that establishes a temporary stage capable of taking the country out of its crisis. Noting that, insisting that this equation remain will lead to the unknown, and the forces that refuse to make real reforms will bear full responsibility before God, the homeland and history. Dot is over. Next article of interest. Nassif. The President of the Republic wants to withdraw Iraq to international custody or emergency. The Deputy of the State of Law Coalition, Ali Nassif, Thursday, accused the President of the Republic. Baram Saleh, of wanting to withdraw Iraq to the international trusteeship or the emergency government. Nassif said in a tweet on Twitter that was seen by him the information that the political blocs must support a candidate acceptable to all to block the way for the President of the Republic and prevent him from withdrawing Iraq to the international custody or the emergency government. The member of the House of Representatives, Unit Jumaili, had demanded earlier today, Thursday, the President and members of the Federal Supreme Court to condemn the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, for his perjury with the constitutional oath and violating the Constitution. Next article of interest. Harb. Saleh's resignation is not effective until seven days after the date it was deposited in Parliament. On Thursday, legal expert Tariq Harb confirmed that the resignation of President Baram Saleh will not take effect until seven days after the date of its deposit in the House of Representatives, in between the Speaker of Parliament will replace Saleh because there is no deputy for the latter. Harb said in a statement to the information that Baram Saleh's resignation will be in effect only after seven days from the date it was deposited to the House of Representatives according to the law. Noting that, after seven days have passed since the resignation was submitted without withdrawing it, Parliament Speaker Mohammed al Halbousi will take his place. He added that, the Speaker of Parliament will replace the President of the Republic because there is no deputy for Baram Sali, noting that, the Speaker of Parliament will manage the Presidency of the Republic for 30 days until the selection of a new President. Today, Thursday, the MP from the Construction Alliance, Hainan Kadu revealed that the Alliance and the Victory Alliance and the United States of America exerted great pressure toward the President of the Republic not to pass the Governor of Basra, as Ad al Aidani, to the position of Prime Minister, while Saleh called for his intention to resign from the presidency. The President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, had apologized, today, Thursday, to assigning the candidate of the Construction Alliance the governor of Basra, as Ad al-Aidani, 
while he laid down his resignation in the hands of the House of Representatives. Next article of interest. Sadiqan accuses parties of trying to reject all candidates for this purpose. On Thursday, the Sadiqan parliamentary bloc accused unnamed political parties of trying to reject all candidates to keep chaos in the country, considering that the aim of rejecting the names is to undermine the work of state institutions. The bloc's deputy, Mohammed Abaldawi, said in a statement to information, that some political parties are trying hard to reject all names to undermine the work of state institutions and maintain chaos and confusion. Al Dawi added, some will reject all names, not just for obstructing the institutional work and searching for political gains, noting that some of the names that presented respected and professional personalities and rejected them came for political ends. Official sources said today, Thursday, that the name of the new Prime Minister will be delivered to the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, within the next 48 hours. Next article of interest. Al Hashemi. Saleh's resignation will lead to the collapse of the political process. Political analyst Wasik Al Hashemi confirmed on Thursday that the resignation of the President of the Republic will lead to the collapse of the political process in Iraq indicating that the matter will push the protesters to put more pressure on the resignation of al-Habausi and the dissolution of parliament. Hashemi said to the information that the political process in Iraq is going toward complexity and escalation more than was expected from the political blocs. He added that Saleh's statement came as a result of combined factors, including the pressure of the political blocs and external pressure and the Iraqi street. Noting that, if the President of the Republic goes ahead with his resignation, the scene will be greatly complicated. He explained that, Saleh's resignation will strengthen the position of the demonstrators and push them to put more pressure on the resignation of Parliament Speaker Mohammed al Habausi and dissolve the Parliament. The President of the Republic of Baram Saleh today, Thursday, resigned and rejected the candidate, as Ad al Aidani, for Prime Minister. Next article of interest. Trade Bank of Iraq. We would like to inform our valued customers. External at machines across all our branches and located in the commercial areas are also working continuously and will not be stopped from the end of the year for annual inventory and you can withdraw your salaries through them. So it needed to be mentioned. Next article of interest. An arrest warrant was issued against the former director of the Trade Bank. The Integrity Commission reported on Thursday that an arrest warrant had been issued against the former director of the Iraqi Trade Exchange for failing to appear in court. In its statement on the details of the case that it investigated and referred to the judiciary, the Commission noted the issuance of a misdemeanor court in charge of integrity cases in Baghdad and arrest an investigation order against the accused based on the provisions of the provision in the case for granting the accused banking facilities at a value 40 million US dollars to a private bank with weak guarantees, which caused damage to public money, while the court decided to postpone the trial to another date. It is noteworthy that the authority had announced on the 18th of this month the issuance of the Najaf Criminal Court specializing in the consideration of integrity issues and arrest warrant against the accused against the background of the special case that the bank branch in Herbal Governorate granted banking facilities worth $60 million to a company to establish a laboratory cement without adequate guarantees. Next article of interest. Parliament ends the second reading of the First Amendment to the Federal Financial Management Law. On Thursday, the House of Representatives finished the first reading of the Amendment to the Financial Management Law. The correspondent of information said that the House of Representatives finished the second reading and discussed a report for the proposed law of the First Amendment of the Federal Financial Management Law. And the House of Representatives held, earlier today, Thursday, its 26th session headed by the second Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives Bishir al hadid while the deadline for reading the civil service law. Like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to find me on Facebook and Twitter, so you don't miss a beat. Take advantage of the six days after Christmas sale, today. 
use the promo code FEDENARIAN for the additional discount on the already discounted price. Time is running out. Invest in your family's well-being. Lock in your planner today. The link is in the description below. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Over and out for now. The Denarian.